Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. This video is all about how to save for your first home. Now, saving for your first home is probably one of the most rewarding, fulfilling and uplifting financial goals that you'll ever work on for yourself. And because of the cost of property this day and age is pretty expensive, for most of us it takes a long time to save that initial deposit. And it requires a lot of motivation and a lot of focus to actually, you know, get there. I know for myself it took me over six years to save my first property and I'm pretty sure my tooth fairy money was included in my deposit. But as you put these steps that I'm about to teach you in place, you'll start to feel a better level of I guess motivation and focus and determination that will help you get you to where you want to be as quickly as possible. So I hope you enjoy this video. Step 1. See your bank. Make an appointment to see the local mortgage broker. Have a chat with them about what your financial goals are, explain to them where you stand financially, and then they can work out how much you can afford to borrow and what you can afford to buy. This is really important because it will give you some really defined goals to work towards and help you refine your property searching. Now, typically speaking, the bank will give you the maximum amount that you can afford to borrow, but this isn't always advisable borrowing that full amount because it's based on a 30-year term, which means the amount of money that they're potentially going to lend you is going to take 30 years to pay off. Now, I can't speak for you and I can't speak for other people, but I know for myself I definitely do not want to spend 30 years paying off my home loan. That would just mean I'm a slave to my mortgage and I can think of far more fun and exciting things to do with my hard-earned cash. So if possible, try not to borrow the, the full amount because you want to pay off your home loan as fast as possible. Step two is open up a separate savings account. Now this is where all your deposit money is going, so it's a dedicated savings account. And if possible, I actually recommend nicknaming this account on your internet banking, My Deposit Savings. This is going to help you feel like you're turning your goals into a reality, which is really important because that's going to help build momentum and help keep you focused. Step three do a budget. Now I know I bang on about budgets in all of my videos but I do so because they're really important. You need to know where your hard-earned cash goes. Also by doing a budget you can work out how much you can afford to save and potentially how much you can increase your savings by. For example say I do a budget and I work out I can afford to save $1,500 per month to put towards my deposit savings. I then might look at the budget again a few days later and actually look at each expense and realize there's a few things that I could potentially either reduce or completely cut out of my budget to increase my savings and I might work out I can actually save $2,000 per month. So that actually means I'm going to end up saving more money faster and potentially own my own home a lot quicker. Step 4. Start saving. This is the most exciting part of all because you can actually see your goals are starting to happen. You're, work, you're taking the right and responsible actions in place to make these goals become a reality and actually go and buy your first home. So what I recommend from doing your budget and you've worked out how much you can afford to save per month, set up an automatic direct debit plan in place so that the money goes into your deposit savings account each month or each fortnight or whichever pay cycle you're on so that you can see your deposit growing and getting bigger and bigger over time and getting you closer and closer to achieving that goal of buying your first home. Step five and the final step is finding extra money. Now I am a super impatient person and I like things to happen right then and there. I am not good at waiting and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are like that as well. So say for example I have worked out I can save $2,000 per month and I've worked out I need to have an $80,000 deposit to buy my first place. Now if I just save $2,000 per month which is $24,000 a year it's going to take me just over three years to save up my deposit and that's just simply far too long. I am not prepared to wait that amount of time. So what I need to do is start manifesting and creating savings beyond my monthly savings. Now this is where you need to sort of start being creative and actually put in some hard, good old fashioned hard work. And that means earning and saving money from elsewhere. So. As you know, might know from the $1,000 project, I'm in manifesting parcels of $1,000. And if you check out my website, I've got a list of about probably 10 to 15 different ideas to help you come up with money beyond your normal sort of income or salary. 
And some of these, um, for example, are selling things on eBay, getting a, a weekend job, um, you know, walking dogs, um, doing some babysitting work, having a garage sale, selling stuff on Gumtree. There are so many things you can do beyond the, you know, the box of your, your um, earning capacity where you can help, I guess, save money, create money, manifest money. And every time you make some money, whether it be $10 or $10,000, Put it in that deposit savings account so you get closer and closer to be able to buy your first home. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you would like a complimentary budget, you just need to subscribe at the Sugar Mama website, which is the new, well, fabulous new Sugar Mama website. Subscribe, make sure you confirm your subscription, and then you should get an automatic email with a link to download the free budget. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram and like us on Facebook. And please keep your video requests coming in. I love to hear from you. And I love to hear what you want to learn about and what knowledge you want to grow. So ciao for now, and I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye.